Greetings St. Simon and Jude Cathedral family. I am so pleased to be able to give you an insider's look, a bird's eye view at what I like to call the powerhouse of priestly prayer, our Cathedral Rectory Chapel. This is where the hard work of your priest's individual prayer lives is done. This is where Jesus works on our souls to form us and shape us through the intercession of his mother into the priest that we are called to be and that you deserve and priests after his own heart. This is also where we are celebrating all of the Masses, all of the scheduled parish Masses that we have told you are now being celebrated privately. This is exactly where it happens. And this is also where we pray our individual holy hours. I pray mine at whatever hour of the day the Lord wakes me up. Sometimes it's pretty darn early, but it always is very fruitful when I'm responding to him saying it's time to pray. When I come in here, in our tabernacle here we have a small monstrance so we can actually pray in front of the exposed Eucharist just like in our perpetual adoration chapel. I come in and I light each of these small red candles and then I turn all of the lights off and it creates an environment, an amazing environment of contemplation and prayer. The red glow illuminating the crucifix but also almost backlighting the Eucharist, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist. And so it is just a great, great privilege. And uh, this is, apart from the church itself, this is my favorite place to go. And this is my place of refuge when things are getting a little difficult and I need that encouragement from the Lord. I want to just point out a few things here that you'll be able to see. You can see this large crucifix is a replica of the crucifix in our sanctuary in the cathedral. We have an icon of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and an icon of the Immaculate Heart of Mary on either side of the crucifix. And then down here to the left, we have a little altar, altarcito as you would say in Spanish. Then right now I've got a statue of St. Joseph there because many of us, many of you and myself included, are reading that new book on the consecration to St. Joseph. And so depending sometimes on liturgical season or on particular devotions, I will change that out with other statues or icons or art or something along those lines just to keep focused on uh, the primary thing that we are praying about at that given moment. So anyway, I just thought it would be just a wonderful way for you to see inside the cathedral. And so when you hear us preaching about coming downstairs into the chapel to pray our holy hour or to have that intense intimacy with the Lord, this is where he invites us to do that. So I'm really pleased to be able to show this to you. And until the next time we have a chance to talk, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Take care of yourselves and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. God bless you.